Hi, welcome to my channel, Maria Hearts Yarn. Today, I'm gonna be demonstrating how I crochet this doll head and add hair, and how I cook the hair to make it curly. Hi, to begin, we are going to be using, in this video, a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I have never made it with a 2.25. I would recommend doing a two millimeter, but I'm gonna see how this works out. Um, I needed a two millimeter hook, and right now with the pandem pandemic going on, I was not able to find a two millimeter hook for whatever reason. So um, I'm gonna see if you can find a two millimeter hook, I would definitely go with that. Um, and then we will be using 24 seven cotton. Um, this is Lion, Lion brand. And this is what um, the label looks like. And I'm starting with brown. So we are going to begin with a slip knot. And then we're gonna chain one. Then I'm going to make a magic circle. And I'm going to single crochet six in the magic circle. So, one, to pull that tight and in the first single crochet I'm going to for row number two I'm going to make two single crochets into each stitch around so we'll have a tw total of 12 single crochets so there's two three four Two single crochets in the next one. Five, six, two single crochets in the next one. Seven, eight, nine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a stitch marker and place that in the last single crochet that we just made. And then for the next row, we are going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. Oh, and if you don't have a stitch marker, um, feel free to just use a piece of yarn. That works the same. I may switch out to a piece of yarn, um, but we'll see how this one does today. Okay, so we'll do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next, and we're gonna complete this pattern until we meet that stitch marker. So two single crochets, and then one single crochet. And then two single crochets. And then one. And again, place that stitch marker 
in that last single crochet. Okay, in this row, we're gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So, two single crochets in the same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one, there's two. And then two single crochets, Place that in your last single crochet. Okay, in this row we're gonna do two single crochets in the same stitch and one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, three, and then two single crochets in the same stitch, one single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, and I will meet you guys back here once I complete this row. Okay, for our next row, we're gonna do two together, or two, sorry, two in the same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then two in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then two single crochets into the same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And I will meet you guys back here once I complete this row. Okay, for the next row, we are gonna do two in the same stitch, and then we're gonna single crochet one in the next five stitches. Two, three, four, five, and then two single crochets in the same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and I'll meet you guys back here once I'm done. Okay, this is our last increase row. So for this row, we are going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, Six. I'll meet you guys back here once I'm done. Okay, so right now we are on row number nine. We are going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. We are gonna do this on rows nine through 17. So once you guys are done with row number 17, I will meet you back here. And at this point, um, when you crochet your head is going to start like making a bowl and we just want to keep on pushing it out like this because this 
side here that we're working on is our right side. We want this to be on the outside of the head, not this texture. We definitely want um, this texture here. So I'll meet you guys back here once I am done with row number 17. Okay, I have finished all 17 rows. So now we are going to be adding our safety eyes. So for the safety eyes, I use the, the small, this is um, eight millimeter. So I'll just grab those out. So we are not gonna add them just yet. First, we before we put the safety eyes in, and then add the um, add the thing to the back. Um, I'm not sure what this would be called. Um, I like to add the eyelashes first. It's much easier without the safety eye being in the way. So for the eyelashes, I use number one super fine, um, just uh, lace crochet thread is what this is called. I don't, fortunately I don't have the label. Um, so for this, I am just going to cut off a decent length, um, probably, I don't know, uh, two and a half feet of this maybe, and we don't even, I'm probably not even gonna use all of it. So I'm gonna add it to my needle here and so the eyes are gonna go uh, between rows 12 and 13 and then between the two eyes there's gonna be nine stitches between the two of them okay so at the top here we're gonna I'm gonna count so one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So right between here, I'm just gonna poke my needle between there. I'm going to use this, um, the crochet hook to actually go between where I want one of the eyes. So I just do this. Okay, now I'm going to take this out and from the back, I am going to insert into the hole that I just made. Okay, so now here was going to be the top of the head and here will be obviously the bottom. So for the eyelashes, I go off to the side, I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to go into the next one and then I'm going to come out directly above where we started. Okay. Oops. So pull that and now so um, I do three eyelashes and hopefully this is somewhat easy to see. So for the side, I do a big eyelash for the side so that gets, um, you skip one stitch and then I'm going to do one straight up and down and then I'm going to do one at a diagonal. For the one straight up and down and the one diagonal, I don't skip any. I just go in directly above them and you can do this. Um, you know, see what you like um, and, you know, go with what you like. Okay, so go in there, come out there. Okay, and then now I'm going to go straight down because I am, I am done. So there is my one eyelash. really quick just in case you guys may not be able to see it very good. Here's a flashlight to 
hopefully help you. So there's one there. Okay, now at this point, I stick my crochet hook back in there. Then I will take my eye and poke that in. And then at this point, it's kind of hard to see the eyelashes. However, and then just attach that to the back, make sure that it snapped all the way in. Um, at this point, it's kind of hard to see the eyelashes. However, when we stuff the, the head, um, you will be able to see them better. And if you want them bigger eyelashes or more eyelashes, you know, do whatever you would like. This is what works best for me and what I like best. Okay, so now we're gonna skip nine stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna go in this stitch. Poke that on through. And then same thing, I'm gonna go up through the bottom. I'm gonna go over, skipping one stitch between that one. And then I'm gonna go straight up and down. And then one diagonal. And if you choose to use a different size, like if you go above the 2.25, like if you go up to say a 2.75 or three millimeter hook, um, you will definitely wanna up your eyeball size to probably a 10 millimeter um, or 12 millimeter for the eye, just to ensure that your yarn isn't too loose that the safety eye is just gonna fall right out and you know you just don't want a child to be chewing on it or playing with it and it come out okay so now as we see we have a bunch of the thread left over here and I just tie a knot from putting the the clip that um, on the back of the eye um, that will hold some of the yarn or the thread here for the eyelashes but I like to always just have that security that it is tied um, so there we go so far so now back to crocheting our head we now are doing our decrease rows for this um, we are going to do a single crochet decrease two together and when I do this I do an invisible decrease and what I do is I insert my hook into the front loop of our first stitch and insert into the front loop of the second stitch yarn over pull the yarn through those first two loops now I have two loops on my hook I'm gonna yarn over and pull through both of those two loops. That is a invisible decrease. Um, now I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next six stitches. And then we're going to decrease single crochet two together 
and then single crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna do this until we meet our stitch marker and I'll meet you guys back here then. We are going to do single crochet two together and then single crochet one and the next five stitches. single crochet two together and then one single crochet in the next five stitches two three four five I'll meet you back when I'm done now we're gonna do single crochet two together and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. Two together and then one, two, I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Single crochet two together. one single crochet in the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. Meet you guys back when I'm done. Okay, now we're gonna do single crochet two together, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two, single crochet, two together and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. Meet you guys back here when I reach the beginning. Okay, I just finished my two single crochets. I am just inserting my stitch marker into that last single crochet. Now at this point we have one more row that we're gonna do, but at this point I like to add some polyfill. And what I do with this polyfill is I will grab the polyfill, but I will break it up some because you don't wanna put it in there with this big hard lump because it just will make it look like um, a part of your head might be squared or it just doesn't look as good. So I just hold my yarn off to the side and then I'm just going to stick the polyfill in here. And when you're stuffing with the polyfill, it is, it is very important that you um, are pushing it as far up to the top of the head as possible. So I like to stuff it in there and then I'll take my thumb and push it hard down with my thumb.
And so far, like I said in the beginning, I have never made this with the 2.25 crochet hook. And so far, I am not seeing any difference. This is where we are going to see the difference is um, when I use my 2 millimeter crochet hook and I put the polyfill, you do not see the polyfill um, because of how tight those stitches are. But so far this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm glad I did end up buying that crochet hook because I was going to wait because um, I didn't know what to expect. And my other my two millimeter crochet hook broke, so I needed something to replace it. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm gonna stop here. We're gonna do our last row. So for this row, if you couldn't guess already, we are going to do single crochet two together. Now at this point, since there is polyfill in there, um, you really want to make sure that you do not grab any of the polyfill as you're crocheting or else it is going to make it look like um, when you crochet over top of the polyfill it's going to make it look like um, the stuffing is coming out of the doll and it is not easy to push the polyfill back into the head if you crochet over top just be very careful. So I just did a single crochet two together and then in the next stitch we're gonna do single crochet one and we're just gonna complete that all the way around. So single crochet two together and make sure that your stitches are still very tight because you do not want them to be loose and um, around the neck area here to show um, any of that stuffing. Okay, so then crochet two together. And sometimes I will complete the entire head and then add the polyfill just so I'm not having to fight with not crocheting over top of the polyfill. But that's just totally up to you um, if you wanna fight with either crocheting over top of the polyfill or um, possibly having a hard time of getting the polyfill through a smaller hole. You just got to be kind of patient with it and just try to work with it as best as possible. Okay, so I'm on my last couple of stitches here. So single crochet two together. I usually don't use that type of stitch marker. I usually use the ones that just you stick in there and it doesn't have the lip like that one does. Okay, so now we are done with that and all I do is I just did my last single crochet and in the next stitch I just slip stitch Oops, there we go. Okay, and you want to leave a pretty good amount of tail because this is the yarn you are going to use to sew the head onto the body. So I pull that through like that and then I insert my crochet hook and pull this through that stitch. And then at this point, and when I do that it just 
um, makes it disappear. You can't even see that anymore. So I do need to add a little bit more stuffing. And um, it won't be in this video, but in the next video, I haven't decided if I'm going to do um, two or three videos for this, um, depending on how long each of them are. Um, but we stuff the head as full as possible right now, but later on you will see that when I am done with the body and I attach the, the head to the body, that as I'm sewing the head on, I add more stuffing and that just makes it to where your doll's neck is sturdy and it's not floppy. And with the hair, it will make the head pretty heavy and so it's really important that the neck is sturdy and you don't have a floppy head um, for your doll. Okay, so then after I am done adding this little bit of stuffing, I am going to go and get my Simply Soft black um, yarn and we are going to do a hair cap. For the hair cap, we are pretty much following the instructions for the head up until row 13 and then that is it. The only difference with it is we will be working in the back loops only and that's gonna create a easy visible um, spot to add our yarn hair. Okay, so here is our head so far. I am going to go and grab that and I will be right back. Okay, so here is my Simply Soft this is a number four medium weight yarn. Um, I highly suggest the Simply Soft for curly hair for the doll. If you're doing straight hair, um, you can use pretty much any brand that you want. However, if you are doing curly hair, I would suggest doing this because the curls will never tangle. So to begin, we are going to do a slip knot, our same crochet hook. We are going to chain one, make a magic circle. I'm going to do six single crochets in the magic circle. So we have one, two, three, this tight okay so now and hopefully you guys can see this okay I know it is black yarn and it is not the easiest to see oops see on a, a video so in the back loops only we are going to do two single crochets into each stitch around so that is going to be 12 single crochets total working in the back loops only. Very important. Four. Five. Six. I'm going to um, add my stitch marker in that last single crochet we just did. I am not going to walk you guys through this entire cap just because of the length of the video this would be. So we are going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch for the next round. We are going to do the same exact pattern 
as the head. So we're going to do increases all the way up until we get single crochet six stitches. So single one single crochet in the next six stitches. And then after that, we are going to do single crochet around until we reach 13 rows. So I hope that made sense. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. Um, if you have a question, please comment below. I would be more than happy to clarify if that did not make sense. I usually get back to my comments pretty quickly. Um, and I will meet you guys back here when we are done with our 13 rows. So like I said, we're going to do the exact same pattern as the head. So I guess um, at this point, if you are a little confused, rewind this video for when we started the head and it is the same pattern. The only difference is we only work in the back loops. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back here after row 13. Okay, I have completed my 13 rows. So yours should be looking like this, where there are all the, the stitches here. And as you can see, it just makes it to where your crochet hook easily inserts into those stitches. So now what we're gonna do is, um, you don't have to do this part, but I like the front of my doll's head to have kind of like a nice hairline, kind of looks like bangs. So to create that, I'm gonna do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. We'll do one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we'll double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one. There's two. And then we're going to do an extended double crochet in the next two stitches. So to do, um, this is not a very popular stitch, so I am gonna walk you through of how to do this. You are going to yarn over insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You're gonna yarn over and pull through that first loop. Then you're gonna yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So it's the same thing as a normal double crochet, only um, you are going to yarn over and here and add, you know, the one, um, pretty much a single crochet and then you're going to double crochet. Okay, and then, so you did an extended double crochet in the next two stitches. Now we're gonna double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one double crochet. There is the second double crochet. And now we're going to half double crochet in the next. Single crochet. Slip stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next. an extended double crochet in the next two stitches. So yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. We'll do that one more time, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the first loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And then we're going to triple crochet in the next 10. So to triple crochet, you're going to yarn over two times, insert into the next stitch, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through those two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. We're gonna do that a total of 10 times. So one, two, three, four, And then we're going to do an extended double crochet in the next two stitches. So there is one, two, and then half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we are going to end with a slip stitch. Now we are going to leave a long tail because at this point we are going to um, sew this directly onto our head. So let's get the head and we will do that right now. And I like to use this kind of a needle it has a point, but it is large enough back here to easily insert the yarn. Okay, so with the head, the bangs that we just added, oops, sorry. The bangs that we just added are obviously going to go in the front. And put, line that up however you would like. You can um, put it kind of off to the side, in the middle, other side. And then from this point, um, pretty much just make sure that the hairline is all the way at the bottom, but do not cover up the very last stitches here because when we sew the head on, we need to pull through. So you want this to be close to the bottom, but not all the way taking up those last stitches there. Okay, so now, All you do with this is insert and pull up. And I just go around the outside. Sorry, I'm not realizing that I'm out of the camera view. So yeah, just insert here, pull on up, making it tight as you, pulling your yarn tight as you go around. Okay, I am going to work on this going all the way around and then I will meet you guys back here 
um, with all of my supplies to show you how we make the curly hair. Okay, hi guys, I am back. So, for the hair, um, what I usually use is the little one here, and this is a 3 8 inch. This is a half an inch. Um, thank you to the pandemic, I have not been able to find the 3 8 inch, so I um, needed more, and so I just got a half inch. Both are going to pretty much give you the same curly look um, however obviously the smaller one is going to be a little bit tighter the bigger one will be a little bit looser curls so um, I am using a drill this saves a lot of time however if you don't have a power drill and this needs to be a drill that you can um, change because what this is going to do is you twist it and it's gonna hold on to the different size of the dowel rod. Um, and this here, I just got it from Home Depot, um, and it works great. So what we do is um, you take your yarn and you just tie a knot The trigger you know is right down here and all I do is I hold my hand here okay and then once you get to the end you grab um, you grab a clothespin and then cut this and then put a clothespin on this side and it's not full right now but I have a tote and um, or a bin and you put um, a couple inches of water in it and then you add the dowel rod in there, get it wet. It doesn't need to soak or anything. Get it wet, and then once it's wet, you'll put it on a towel, pat it dry, and then you'll add it to a cookie sheet. When you add it to your cooking sheet, you need to make sure, I have a broken person. Um. When you add it to your cookie sheet, you just need to make sure that your yarn is not touching the cookie sheet. Now, um, for your oven, you're going to bake this at 250 degrees for 45 minutes. And then when you're done, you will, here let's just, we'll pretend that this came out of the oven. So you'll take it out of the oven, you'll let it cool for at least 10 minutes so that it doesn't burn you, let, give it time to cool down. And then um, I wrap it around a book. And I use, I use this length so um, when it comes out uh, it'll be curly but I wrap it around the book making sure that each strand is the same size and then at this point I cut right here and then after that you will get pieces of hair like this and they're all the same size and they're very curly and they seem very short however you will see that um, it is the perfect length so let me put this all aside and I'll show you how I attach it to the doll 
Okay, so a pointer that helps um, cut down on a little bit of time is I will individually separate some of these um, and then that way when you go to attach them it's easier to grab just single ones instead of digging from the whole pile and having them all want to grab onto each other. So what I do to um, attach this is our last row here, not along here, I keep her, her bangs, but on the very last row I will put one piece of yarn hair into every single stitch. And then after that, for all of the remaining rows, I will do every other stitch. So to attach this, start anywhere. I guess we'll just start on the top and insert your hook. And I always do it with, um, actually the other way. I always do it with her head looking this way with my crochet hook pointing towards the back of her head. And why I do that is the look of the knot. And actually, I think I did that opposite. I haven't done a doll in a little bit. So, okay, maybe I did have it right the first time. Um, so you, oops. Yep, definitely this way. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so on this side, you want the two strands to be even and then pull on through. And I just like the look of this knot better than the other side of that. So um, just for every single one, and this is a little time consuming, but it is so cute when it is done. And what I will do sometimes too is I will do the very outside entire row and then I will start from the middle and then I will do every other one working this way and then I'll flip it over and do the little bit that is um, needs to be added into the back. So yeah, you just... Um, do this, uh, so at the dollar store, you can get 10 of the half inch dowel rods um, at the Dollar Tree is what is in my area. And um, if you do 10 dowel rods, you will, depending on how long you're making the hair, um, you will need to do um, three different times of cooking them if you do it um, approximately the same length as mine. Uh, that is why I went out and bought some more dowel rods is because I just have so many Etsy orders now that I don't have the time to do, you know, three different cooking of 45 minutes. It just was taking up a lot of time. So I went and got some more and now I can do 40 dowel rods at a time and just cook them all once and then be done with it. So yeah, um, I am going to continue doing this and I will see you guys back here when I am done. It'll probably be different lighting because right now it is nighttime and I will probably finish up this video in the daytime totally depends on how the kiddos are being and how nap time goes. I have a one and a half year old teething right now. So if you're a parent, you know that nothing is for certain. Um, so yeah, um, I just want to say really quick, thank you so much for watching. And um, please, if you wouldn't mind liking the video and if you like 
um, this, let me know, or the videos that I have out there, let me know by subscribing. That way I know what my viewers like. Um, Cause yeah, here pretty soon I'm gonna need some video ideas of what to do next. And I also am gonna look forward and seeing you guys um, for the future videos of how to finish this doll since this is only the first video of getting the head done. Um, and yeah, so um, I will see you guys back here when I get all of the hair in the hair cap. All right, I have added all of the hair. So if you look um, by separating the strands, um, there isn't any really big holes in there. And yeah, so here we are. And here is the hairline along the side there. Thank you so much for watching. I